Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Microsoft Edge, a high CPU and memory usage both on Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you do have a high usage from Microsoft Edge, occupying a lot of CPU and the memory usage, then how you can fix it. Right now you can see in my case it's fluctuating for the CPU and for the memory it's really taking a huge uh, amount that is 1270 MB as of now it's increasing and decreasing so the average um, memory that is taken by the edge is around 1260 and if I open my Microsoft Edge you can see that only five tabs has been opened not more than that but it's still it's occupying a lot of space so how we can reduce it okay I'm going to share a few simple methods that you need to apply and after that you will find a great change the first thing that you have to do is you need to clear the browsing history data the cache and also need to reset your browser so on the very right hand top of your Microsoft Edge you will see the three dot uh, just click on this and then scroll down and you will find settings just click on settings now from the left hand menu option click on privacy search and services now scroll down a bit and here you will find clear browsing data now choose choose what to clear and make sure the time range has been set to all time check all the boxes uncheck the password and the autofill form data because if you check these boxes it will also clear your saved password Probably you don't remember all of them, so you will miss it out. So you just uncheck these two boxes and check all of them. Choose the time range to all time and then click on clear now. Okay, so click clear now and wait until it's been completed. Now once done, you can just uh, look for the reset settings on the left -hand menu. And then click on restore setting to their default values. Then click on reset. So if there is any kind of wrong settings or any something a uh, new setting has been activated that probably occupying a load more memory in the cpu so in that case you can reset it so it will come to the original default settings and probably everything will be fixed so this was the one then the second thing that you have to do you just need to check the extension if you have installed too many extension probably you are not using it even uh, you're not aware of that they are running in the background and occupying a lot of space how you can do that just click on the three dot again on the right hand top and here you will find extensions just click on it and in the extension you will see all the extension here so you can click on manage extensions and then you will find all the extensions installed here and which is in blue that are enabled working in the background and the one in the gray they are has been disabled okay so what we have to do here you just need to first disable all those extension that you don't use it now if you don't need it then you can also click on remove okay and then similarly you have to do the same with everyone ad block if you're using it you can keep it but if you don't want if you don't feel that it should be on your browser then you can remove it similarly you have to do this with every extension okay disable the one that you rarely use and delete and remove those extension that you don't need or you don't identify okay so once you have done just uh, do you check for all the extension till the bottom and once you are done just close your Microsoft Edge and then you just need to open your settings your windows 11 or windows 10 so just click on the right click on the windows icon and choose settings now here click on apps now you just need to search here for edge and you will get microsoft edge just click on it then click on modify and then click with repair so you just need to go and click on repair so this will probably repair if there is any infected file or any kind of infections okay now once you are all done with this part as well then you have to open uh you can just install a one-time malware uh, remover that is anti-malware byte so you can just open google and type 
anti-malware byte. You have to install it. Okay, you can go with this one www.malwarebyte.com. I will leave the link in the description. You just need to install it. Uh, this is a trial version, so you don't have to pay anything. You simply install it, run it, and whatever infection has been detected, just clear them, delete them, and then restall. Uh, sorry, just restart your PC. And after that, if you wish, you can keep this anti malware byte or you can also uninstall it. And after restarting, I'm very sure that your CPU and the memory usage uh, for the Microsoft Edge will be reduced and it will occupy only a few space from your CPU and the memory. Okay, this is the working method, guys. Work for almost everyone, work for me, and hopefully, this will work for you as well. And if yes, make sure you hit the like button. And also let me know in the comment section whether it worked for you or not. Thanks so much and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.